Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be turning down the JBL Extreme 3. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and enjoy watching my teardown videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. It goes a long way in helping my channel grow and supporting me in making more future videos like this. With that being said, let's tear down the JBL Extreme 3. So here we have the beautiful Extreme 3. First off, we need to remove the fabric grill by prying up this back half of the grill. Once you flip it open, you will need to remove two screws that's holding down the grill onto the enclosure. Once removed, don't be afraid to use a bit of force to pull up the grill as it's held in there quite well. And here we have the Extreme 3 grill. It contains your normal button on the top and the battery indicator on the bottom. And like I mentioned before, the JBL logo looks great and I honestly prefer it over the old small red emblem. It just makes the speaker stand out more and overall it just looks better. Now let's take a quick glance at the JBL Extreme 3. Just weighing at 4.4 pounds and measuring 5.4 by 11.8 by 5.3 inches, it is closely the same size as the previous generation. It also contains dual drivers in the center and two tweeters on each side like there was on the Extreme and Extreme 2. We'll continue by removing four screws that is holding down the driver onto the enclosure. While we're at it, let's remove the cover for the battery indicator to get it out of the way. Now with all the 8 screws removed, we can pry out the driver. There are also double sided tape on there, so you have to use a bit of force to pry them out. These are 2.8 inch woofers that pushes a total of 25 watts each and will no doubt provide you with a powerful sound whether you're using it indoor or outdoor. Now let's remove the two tweeters by removing these three screws. These tweeters are 0.8 inches and are 25 watts each and honestly I think they do a pretty good job at bringing out the highs to give you that nice crisp clear sound. Next we're going to remove these two hooks by removing two screws that are holding it down. These hooks are made of durable aluminum and they do a great job at holding the speaker with the enclosed strap attached to it. Next we will remove the dual passive radiator which are held on by 4 screws each. This passive radio has a diameter of about 2.7 inch and they do an awesome job at producing those low frequency response that a JBL speaker is known to have. Now let's put these aside so we can continue the teardown. Our next step is to remove the charging board. To do this we will need to remove this waterproof seal by removing these 6 screws.
Once they're removed, you can easily pull out the whole charging assembly and remove the cables. To get access to the charging board, you will also have to remove four screws to expose the charging board. Lastly, we will need to remove three more screws to take out the charging board. This charging board contains a 2 amp USB-A port to charge your device, a USB-C input to charge the speaker in just 2.5 hours, and an aux input to connect your device if you are not connecting it using Bluetooth. Next, we remove the motherboard, but first in order to do that, we will need to remove one screw that is holding the motherboard in. Once the screw is removed, you can gently slide the motherboard out. While doing so, you will also want to disconnect any cables that are so attached to the motherboard to prevent any damage. And here we have the JBL Extreme 3 motherboard. This motherboard provides the speaker with up to 100 watts of power to the woofer and tweeters to deliver that powerful dynamic JBL Pro sound. It has Bluetooth 5.1 and contains party boost to allow you to connect compatible speaker for stereo sound. However, sadly, it does not have speakerphone function. This is not a big deal, but it's more of a nice feature just to have. Now let's go ahead and remove the LED battery indicator. This battery indicator has 5 LED lights that indicates the battery level and progressively lights up when you charge the speaker. Now we will take out the battery. To do so, we will remove 6 screws that are holding down the cover to the battery compartment. Once the cover is removed, the battery just pop right out. This is a 5000 mAh battery pack that takes around 2.5 hours to fully charge and provide the speaker with a total play time of up to 15 hours on a single charge. And here we have the body enclosure of the JBL Extreme 3. And as you can see, JBL put a lot of work into designing the overall structure of the Extreme 3. And there we have it, the complete teardown of the JBL Extreme 3. Remember there will be more teardown coming, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.